So, Trey, thank you for that wonderful story about how you uh, became a part of the Hitler Youth. Uh, what's going on, everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode eight of the Good and Fresh podcast. <laughs> The show where a couple of dudes <laughs> up to no good make some trouble in your neighborhood. In your hood, bitch. I'm one of your hosts, Charles the Rose, a.k.a. Chuck Fresh. <laughs> and next to me, as always, is the one and only Trey Cal L. <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> the reanimated trash heap. A.k.a. I'm forky now? Trey Good. Golden. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? That's the golden one. The only one. Put a hole in one. The chosen one. With a chuck. <coughs> the holes. Ah. Uh, the holes? The holes. As in, like, you a hoe. Chuck the hoe. Ah, uh, good one. Yeah. Right. This podcast is brought to you by BeGreaterThanEver.com, but we'll talk about that later. For right now, let's get into what is and forever will be Chuck's. Thoughts. What you got for me today, this week? So, uh, like I was telling you a little earlier, I really didn't have a thought per se this week. Word? Nothing that... Nothing thought provoking. Nothing that hit me and I was like, that's that's stupid enough for the podcast. Yikes. Um, you ain't have not one of those? Not one, man. What have you been doing? You been reading books? <laughs> oh, I don't <I'm> see <laughs> Nah. That would just switch it up for you. Just doing some smart shit? Yeah. Nope. Oh, okay. Um, so instead, I figured we would do like a little speed round, a little this or that. Oh. People could kind of get to know some of your likes and dislikes or I'm, whatnot. I'm in the middle of it all, bro, so you, I don't know how this is going to go out. Hopefully well. We'll, we'll let them be the judge. Yeah. They, they like the judge every day. Mm. We haven't been canceled yet, which is crazy. I know, bro. I don't know if people actually knew what they were getting into mm, once we, like, not at all. this podcast. Not at all. Cause they probably thought this was some wholesome family <laughs> content. <laughs> Talking about consciousness and everything else. Yeah. Talk, which we do still touch on because I cannot help but express right. it through everything. But I don't think they realized how just completely ignorant we are. <laughs> and just how our filter is non-existent. Yeah, none. I have more of a filter when I'm not like on a mic, but when I get a mic in my hands or I'm on the front of a mic being on stage or doing this podcast, mm-hmm. bro, it's it's over. Yeah. O V. I feel you. G- what do you what do you what do you say? Uh GG's in the chat? Uh, there you go. Hey. <laughs> GG's on the chat, dude. In the chat. Alright. Are you ready for this? I need you to Clear your mind. I need you to just give me zero. Give me the first answer that your heart touches on. <laughs> All right, I got you. Okay, starting it off. Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. Pepsi or Coke? Neither. Okay, your wife also said this, but you gotta pick one. I don't have to pick anything. Okay, but you gotta pick. One. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Rob. Pepsi. When's the last time you've had a Pepsi or Coke product of any kind? Decades. And I'm thirty. I'm thirty-one. It's been years, bro. I I don't. I've never liked Pepsi nor Coke. I'm like eighty-one. I bet. Yeah. I'm geriatric. (laughs) Well, you're wrong. It's Coke, but that's fine. How the fuck? (laughs) All right. It's Coke. (laughs) Okay. Uh, money or fame? Money. Okay. Nike or Jordan? It's the same thing. No, it's Nike. There you go. Twitter or IG? Now for you, mm. the boomer generation out there, IG is Instagram. Oh, really? Yep. Well, you can find me at, at three times good. At three times good. At nice. three times good. I always want to say three times good.com. I always want to do that. At three times good.com. I see. I got God. You. you can find you there too, though. Yeah, you can. You can find him at. at Charles underscore LaRose32. Underscore underscore. Is it an underscore? Yeah, yeah one underscore. Yeah. See, I know my friends. It's too many underscores, dude. It's dumb. Uh, which one? Yep. Uh, I'm going to say Twitter. Interesting. Twitter guy. You hate Twitter. I, I do, but it's an open world. It's, it's savagery out there. It's true. That's why I'm on Twitter. Beer or wine? 
The first thing that popped in my mind was wine. Okay. And I drink out loud. Yeah, wine. It's respectful. Car or an SUV? Tesla. Okay, so that's a car. They do have SUVs Thanks. too. That's no, true. Likes. That's true. Tesla. Okay. Anything. So a car. Gotcha. Uh huh. <laughs> I see. I, I can't make this. I'm. I'm I can't make this easy. Yeah, you gotta be a fucking hard ass I, about it. It's I gotta be me, bro. Simple. I gotta be me, bro. In a partner, intelligence or humor? Who <laughs> you said in a partner? I was like, what? Yeah. Uh, all types of orifices. Uh, what you say, intelligence or humor? Yep. Intelligence and humor. Brunette or blonde? Redhead. <laughs> and he said redhead. Why do you think I like red redheads? Cause I, cause I mean, I didn't put it on the list, so we can add redheads on there if uh, you want. I, I mean, hair. Okay, I like hair. <laughs> I do. I like okay. Hair. I'm gonna say I'm. So Amber Rose is out. Yeah, she's out, bro. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Amber. That's, that's, I don't want to say damaged goods, but wow, refurbished. refurbished she's a nice lady. Goods. Oh, she's a she's a beautiful lady. Beautiful lady stands up for what yeah. she stands up for. But yeah, I mean, she was with Kanye, so with Khalifa. Can't have any of that. Someone else. Khalifa. Twenty One Savage. All sorts of people. Uh, yeah, I'm straight, bro. All right. No, no. Hey, look, no disrespect, Amber, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bump into you. And this might be on Bossip or some shit like that. And they'd be like, mm. oh, you thought I was this and the third. Uh, so yeah. listen, I respect you as a human being, but you're not my type. So brunette, blonde, just hair of any color. Hair of any color, man. Don't care. Women. Okay. Yay or hove? Hove. Action movie or comedy? Shit. Oh, oh, oh. This is it? This is going to be the one? Yeah, they, oh my God. <laughs> they, get so much, they get so much harder. Uh, do they really? Yeah. Oh, this is lit. Shout out to the eighth episode. I like this. Um, shit. Cause I love comedies, but I love action movies too. <sighs> That's why I do not like to make choices of this of this type because I like them both. Can I say both? Can I be like no. Drake and the Gucci Mane? No. Because I like both right now. No. You're you're young and hip. Shout out to the being you made of me. <laughs> Trey's so old that he hit me up and was like, I need to learn how to make me. That's <laughs> some fucking new age. <laughs> you sent that? I did, bro. Right. Only reason why, okay, look, only reason I could learn how to make that shit on my own, I could just make them up. Only reason why I said that is because me and Henry were having a conversation about how to plant seeds into people's consciousness and get more conscious awareness. Sure. And she was like, we got to create memes or something like that. Memes will be the way. I was like, I got to learn how to memes make memes. Memes are the way. Yeah, I mean, good job. But also, you sent oh. me that, and I opened up a new tab on my phone and just started looking at the closest um, old folks' homes. And I was like, yeesh, we're yes. getting to that point. Yikes. Grandpa's got to go. I haven't answered your question, though, did I? Nope. Action movie Action. or comedy? Action. Okay. Damn. Spring or fall? Spring. Summer or winter? Summer. Now, this next one is more for our, um, I guess, <laughs> coastal elite, if you want to call them that. Or just intelligent people. See, oh, the God. problem is, the problem is with this one, that Iowa people fuck this up, mm. and it mm. infuriates me. It makes you red in the face. Yeah. Yikes. It grinds my gears, if you will. You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> aunt or aunt? Auntie, bro. Aunt. Is it aunt? What's so hard about this, Iowa? Oh, they say ant. Ant. That and I'm like, bro, ant is an animal. Or short for Anthony. Fuck out of here. Aunt <laughs> is a person in your family. Straight up. Fucking people out here. Thanks. Probably because they ants are like their cousin and mom at the same time. I don't know. It's, just, it's my mom and yeah, my cousin. <laughs> my mom and my auntie. Cake or pie? Hmm. 
vegan cheesecake. You said cake, <laughs> so sure. We'll go with it. Hemi uh, wanted me to ask you this one. Bob Ross or Mr. Rogers? Mr. Rogers. Okay. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Word. Straight up. Okay. God bless Bob Ross too, though. True. Uh, drive or fly? Fly. In the theater or on Netflix? In the theater. Mm. In the theater. I feel that. I like the experience to go out, but I do like the Netflix and the convenience of just being at the crib. Right. But I like the, the going out experience, too. Okay. Coffee or tea? Tea. Gross. I don't drink coffee at all, bro. Fix it. Um, Fix it, Jesus. She also wanted me to ask you this one. Now, oh, these are your questions. She put some of oh, them okay. in. Um, now, this one is going to be the test of everything because oh. if you answer this wrong, we're shutting all this shit down and I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> oh God! Pokemon or Digimon? You have one chance. Don't fuck this up, Charles. I can't tell you this. Bro, turn off this camera, Hemi, because we're gonna fucking fight. Agumon, Digivolve 2, Greymon. Bro, Digimon was hard, bro. You got life fucked up. You don't know. You don't even into anime like that for one to, to, to judge me on my choice of Pokemon or Digimon, bro. Digimon all the way. All the way. Let's get past this before I <laughs> let's, really let's have fuck a public you up. vote. Let's have a public vote. Right, yeah. Look, for you all who are watching right now, what do you choose? Leave it in the comments below. Digimon or Pokemon? I should say how he said it. Pokemon or Digimon. Let, let us know where you are at in the battle of my pocket monsters or digital monsters. And if you say Digimon, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> Reality or fiction? Reality. Sunrise or sunset? I had burp. And I also looked deviously because my idea of reality is totally different than a lot of people's understanding of reality. But sunset or sunrise? Yeah. Sunrise. Paintings or photos? Paintings. Cats or dogs? Cats. Eat food that Hemi made or that your mom made? Oh, you motherfuckers is not right, okay? <laughs> well, since my mom might not make me what I eat now, I'll go with what Hemi, what, what Hemi makes me. Shout out to your mom, though. Yeah, shout out to my mom. I was just on a uh, FaceTime with her. I know. She told us to shout her out, so. She did. So we're She's doing. like, shout me out, baby. Shout out to my mama all the way, cause she's funny as fuck. She is. Dude. She's ridiculous. She really is. She's she's she. I, I can't wait till like she comes down to Iowa and actually meets certain yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. One person in particular I wanted to meet though, mm -hmm. Sam. Oh God. <laughs> you're gonna have, bro. No, you're gonna have a new dad. You don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that. No. But I, I mean, he definitely won't be my father. I don't know. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be against it. I can see it happening. I can see my mom and cousin his ass out. For Hard, sure, bro. For sure. Hard. What would be dope though is if this like actually blows up, and then you could have like a mom's podcast where it's just Mama Lou and mom and your mama, bro. They would fucking go wild. It would fucking crash the. It would crash the internet, bro. It'd That's true. Wreck it, Ralph. They get Lord. way more views than we do. <laughs> Damn sure it'd be a lot more uh, news than this. <laughs> Hemi say uh, it'll, it'll be a whole lot of praise in the Lord. Oh, for sure. For sure, bro. Jesus gets all the glory. Yeah, yeah. And then some. Um, New York City I or LA? Had, I just had the craziest thought. But, oh, okay. Uh, uh, Answer this and then we'll go back to your thought. Um, shit, man. I'm going to say LA. Okay. I'm, I have yet to be out there as a uh, conscious adult. Mm -hmm. Um, So... I'm looking forward to it. Make it happen. Not you, but you okay. do. Never make it happen. Um, what was your thought that you just said? So I just said like God, uh, Jesus gets all. Of, Jesus gets all the glory. Yeah. 
And then I thought about like Jesus would get a whole lot more than glory though, cause like I think I, I'm not even gonna go there, but I think Jesus would definitely be getting all the pantaloons from a lot of them out here. Cause he out here. I mean, yeah. No one man should have all that all that power, or the Kanye. And Jesus would be out here. The holy chick magnet, bro. I mean, that's true. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be terrible for people like you. The fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm just fucking with Joe Sonny. Jesus gonna steal my girl. <laughs> Mr. Steal <Studio> your girl. <laughs> oh. Uh, Mr. Save your girl. <laughs> Save her soul. Shower or bath? Shower, baby. Biggie or Pac? Biggie. Oh. Biggie had flow. True. Pac was revolutionary. He was, but Biggie. Biggie's, Biggie, Biggie's like, to me, the main reason why hip hop is or has been as influential as it has been. Tupac definitely played a major role in that, but the way that the flows and styles have switched is because of Biggie. Interesting. Because Hove is the one who took the game by everything, and Biggie was Hove's big brother. Right. So to me, it's just like that torch from Biggie to Hove mm -hmm. ran the game. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that. Uh, ninjas or pirates? No. <laughs> I was straight about to say ninjas, but then you said pirates, and I thought about One Piece, and I'm like, yo, my. Mm. <sighs> ninjas. Silver or gold? Both. What do you not understand <laughs> about this? What do you not understand about me being me, bro? You just got to pick one. I can pick whatever I want, but I'm going to go with uh, gold. Okay. Jeez. Thank you. Yeah. Call or text? Text. Natural or breast implants? Whatever looks good. Okay. I mean, you should probably pick one, but it's like... I mean... Natural? Okay. My whatever looks the best. Whatever feels good on you, ladies. In a car, passenger or driver? Driver. I want to low-key be just be in the backseat, though. Now, nah, like, I... In the backseat? I, huh? I want to be chauffeur, bro. I want to be taking where I need to go. Mm. I don't tell them where I need to go. I'm, I'm not... There. I'm not big on backseat, but I, I like being the passenger. Or, yeah. nah, bro, like, either I'm going to be driving that bitch or I'm going to be riding in the back with this space. Mm. Okay. Uh, one night stands or exclusive relationships? Oh, shit. Uh, I ain't really big on one night stands. I like, I like cultivating meaningful relationships, honestly. Uh -huh. like, I mean, I've had my one night stands, bro, like, no, no bug, but... I like, I like the I like the play of getting to know an individual, and all of that. I like all that, bro. I like it's exciting. Like flirting is exciting. Like getting to know somebody is exciting. Thinking about somebody is exciting. Like that shit is exciting to me. I like that shit. So I'm gonna go with what you said. Aside from exclusive relationships. exclusive relationships, but the exclusive relationship seems too limited. But you know, mm. cremation or burial. Cremating. Mm. Or plant me in the ground and let me grow into a tree. In a tree. Yeah. Those things are pretty cool. I would definitely. Or let me become like fungus or some shit so like that. Like mm. you can become like mushrooms. Mm, okay. Uh, Kevin Hart or Dave Chappelle? Dave Chappelle, bro. Mm. That's. I'm, I'm that appalled you even asked that question. I, it's just a question. Okay, all right. Right. I mean, I'm not saying all oh, Kevin Hart's the easy choice. I mean, they should pay, bro. I mean, they're pale. both legends. True. So they I, should I, I didn't know. I feel it. I feel they should both. Um, Heming wanted me to add one in here, and I didn't uh, put it on this little docket thing. Um, Bleach or Naruto? <sighs> Ah, 
Why do you do this to me? Yeah. We were trying to get ones that would stop you. I kind of ran through a lot of this shit, though. Bleach. Oh, but my soul was like, nah, I'm don't. <laughs> like, nah. And then what was the one after that, Hemi? Uh, Bleach or One Piece. Bleach or One Piece? Hmm, One Piece. I'm more emotionally invested into One Piece. Okay. It's no. probably because Bleach ended. Like, if Bleach was still, like, oh, if they had, like, actual completion to their story, mm-hmm. it would have been Bleach. Because I would really fuck with Bleach. I would really fuck with I think I'm gonna go with Bleach. Over Naruto, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with One Piece over Bleach. One Piece or My Hero Academia? My Hero Academia. Is My Hero Academia just number one? Bro, for it sure. is. Clearing away. I had to burn them, so. Um, yeah, bro, it's One Piece. Mm. No, I'm sorry. It's number one. Yeah. It's number one. My Hero Academia is number one for me right now. A close second we're at this moment. Mm-hmm. Maybe Demon Slayer, which I gotta catch up she on. She was saying that. But I was like, I don't know, that's new. He's just getting into it. I don't know if he has the emotional investment. Oh, when, when they're talking about the breath and the way that they're talking about the breath, mm-hmm. I am in because, like, last week I was talking about the breath. Actually, for like the mm-hmm. last two, two episodes, I was talking about the breath. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. can, yeah. Getting your Bane mask. I can't, I can't do it. I was born in the dog. That's a horrible. That was a horrible man. impression. I can't think of his voice right now, so I can't do it. Never mind. Oh. Continue. Was you about to do it? No. Oh. Because I don't even want to do that one. Because like we said in the last episode, it's the worst one of the trilogy. So we need to just get rid Yo, of it. Yo, speaking of Batman, by the way. Okay. Me and him Lata. Yeah. For our fifth anniversary. Right. Our... So we have two anniversaries. We have an anniversary. Of course you do. Nothing can be simple. You're right. I'm glad you finally got that now. Yeah. Um, our first anniversary is when me and her became like boyfriend and girlfriend shit. Kim. Which was October 5th. Okay. And then unplanned, 13 months after that is when we got married. So November Kim. 5th is mm-hmm. our marriage anniversary. Mm-hmm. So we had just celebrated one of our anniversaries and we went to go see the movie Joker. Oh fuck y'all for not inviting me. No, it was a date. You wasn't coming. No, you know what? I'm gonna insert it right here. So <laughs> I was I was thinking about Halloween costumes uh-huh. and I asked my mom like what I should be for Halloween. At the time of recording this, Halloween hasn't happened. When you see this, Halloween will have happened. Um but I was asking my mom what I should be for Halloween and she said that I should go as the third wheel and I should have two <laughs> I should have two like little wheels hanging off me and then I like my shirt would just say third wheel. Hey man, shout out to Mama Little Dog. She funny as fuck. <sighs> Baby we should dress up as tires. <laughs> so you can be third wheel. <laughs> Damn. That'd be pretty funny. Oh my god. Oh, shit. So anyway, thanks Taylor, for inviting me. You're very welcome that uh, you said no. Um, But yeah, Joker, that shit was great. Like, I was expecting mm. it to be an action film, because it's about the Joker. Right. But it was an actual film. Mm. It was a film film. I've heard, like, I don't know, mixed Mitch reviews Mitch. on it, yeah. Like, some people really don't like it. Some people are like, oh, this is awesome. I mean, I can see, I, like, I'm, like, in the middle of it because... I wasn't in love with everything. But they probably didn't like it for one. It was like mad slow. Okay. But it was just telling the story. It was getting like deep into the, the, the dark. A realistic the, yeah, story. Yeah. Um, but also like how mentally disturbed mm. Joker was. Mm. Like the, I don't want to say nothing because... Spoilers, bro. I can't spoil it. By the time, by the time this comes out, which I, I, I don't, we got a lot of shit to just put out, so I kind of yeah. want to put start doing two a week, but we'll see. Not yet, cause yeah, yeah. But it was great. 
nonetheless, Joker was great. Great story, great cinematography, great score. Like, the score was amazing. Mm. I really am a fan of good scores with music. For sure. Yeah, with movies. For sure. Um, Because they have such an unspoken part in a film. Like, if you don't have a good score... It all falls apart. Yeah. Yeah. So, the Joker was amazing. And... The way it tied into like the birth of Bruce Wayne, your favorite superhero, mm-hmm. nailed it. Was great. The goat himself. He was a dummy in that movie. Super oh, Bruce dummy. Wayne was in the movie. Yes. Oh, but he was a dummy. I he was a. F- but I mean, he was. Doesn't matter. No spoilers. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I. It's because like when it first came out, I was hearing all of these, you know, mixed reviews. Yeah, like. Um, media outlets and places mm-hmm. like that being like, oh, it's not that great. And I was like, huh? another, another movie about, you know, my favorite cast of characters. I would say, bro, I, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of, like, critics and reviews. Nah. But, I mean, I'll watch it anyway, just because. Good. Because at the end of the day, they watching it from their perspective, and they're like, oh, blah, blah. Like, bro, I, don't, I, yeah. I might like it. I might yeah. Not. I mean, like, I watched Suicide Squad just off strength, but, like, oof. That shit was good. Yeah. I liked it. It was okay. I mean, I like Did you watch, you, you like Suicide Squad? Yeah. I fucked with it. No so that worries. was it. Yep. That no was the, this, I liked that. Okay. That shit was cool. Well, maybe you can do it to me next time and we'll see what happens all right cool yeah i gotta come up with some questions yeah huh there we go okay she's hemi's already got ideas write them down i was about to say send me to text me it's fine all right so we're gonna move on we're gonna do drip or skip drippity skip um drippity skip drippity drip skip skip so we got a couple things here. What we got? Um, so this first one that I want to get into is not really um, a shoe that I want you to kind of pick out and be like, oh, it's hot. It's not. It's more of a history lesson oh, that okay. I want to give you. Okay. I want to. I want to start start you on your path to your PhD in Jordanology okay. of right. one day you might achieve. Okay. So what we so have I'm here... on Complex and shit, buying shoes. Like, yeah, you don't buy shoes on Complex. But not, I know, like, when I'm talking about when Complex is taking me out to go buy shoes. Oh, for sneaker shopping? Yes. Yeah. I can be like, yeah, my homeboy check was the one fucking put me No, 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 no. All right, never mind. No, because shit. if you go on sneaker shopping, uh-huh. I'm there with oh, you, number oh, one. Oh. And then number two... I'm going to look at the shoes, and I'm going to be like, oh, okay, oh, they want five times the price of what it would be on any other site? Oh. I'm good. Okay, so you go, all right, I appreciate that. Because that's ridiculous. It's dumb, dude. Like, they're bringing these people to these, like, boutique sites, but they upcharge the shoes an obscene amount of money obscene amounts of money so like really you're just buying them just to like flex on people and it's like that's cool but nah but also no okay well shit uh complex when y'all reach out to me to go sneaker shopping if you don't have you don't have uh this man will be in my rider all right yeah just know and also in our rider we get three pairs of shoes and they're on you yep so I wear ten and a half. Figure it out. Eleven, depending on the shoes. I wear an eleven. Eleven point five in Yeezys. All right. Back to the drip skip. Back to it. So we're gonna start you off with this history lesson. This is um, a, the picture I can find as of right now. All right. What we got is uh, the beginning Jordans. Mm-hmm. Now, what most uh, sneaker heads or people in Jordanology <laughs> will tell you is that really the only OG Jordans that matter are 1 through 14. Mm-hmm. After 14, eh. okay. because 14 uh, is when he did his last shot with the Bulls. 
And then everything after that was like he either wasn't playing or it was when he like came back and played on the Wizards and then like everything after that. Okay. So 14 is really like where legit Jordans stop. Okay. Because after that they just get goofy and they started doing all sorts of crazy shit. There's some here and there that people like and enjoy, but 1 through 14s are like the classics. Okay. So what we have here, we we don't have, for whatever reason, number 14 on here, Mm -hmm. but we have 1 through 13, and then like the 17s and the 21s. I don't know why they did that, but they did. So, we'll go through. Okay. They are all in order. order. Left to right. Okay. And I mean, just which ones speak to you? Which ones do you like the most? Which ones do you hate? All right, the ones. Granted, they are all in mostly like OG, like red and black colors. Chicago colors. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, what do you got? Those the sevens are hard. Okay. Yeah, the sevens are hard. Tens yeah. are hard. Okay. Um. He was with the with the six, seven, and the eights. Like he was on a on a killer run, bro. Hundred percent. The fours are fire. Okay. Fives? Hmm. I like them. Interesting. I'm not a huge fan of the twos. Okay. Threes? Hmm. Mm. Twos and threes are room to me. Interesting. But one, four, five, six, seven, eight. The nines? Mm, decent. They don't, oh. They decent, but. No, actually, they don't even have nines on here. Remember? Those aren't, what are those? No, it goes six, seven, eight, ten. Oh, those are tens. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. So, okay. it does a couple fucked well, the, up. Well, the tens, uh, I ain't gonna say, ugh, but. Mm, not huge, not a huge fan. Those elevens, bangers. Okay. And then the twelves. Uh huh. Those twelves are thirteens. These are twelves. Those are twelves? Yep. I fucks with the twelves. Uh-huh. I fucks with the twelves and I fucks with the thirteens. Uh-huh. Um, the shits at the bottom. Don't matter. Yeah, we're gonna leave them shits at the bottom. Don't matter. Um, yeah, like I mean, all shits are you know legit. Twos and threes aren't like my favorites though. The two threes and tens aren't my favorites. Okay. Of this, right here. Interesting. So I'm dripping with major with what. Seventy percent. A majority, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so I definitely agree with you on two of these picks. Okay. The twos are, eh. Mm-hmm. I have a pair of twos. They're they're okay. Um, they're basically just like the ones with more like padding in them. Mm-hmm. So I mean, they're they're okay, but they're not like anything crazy. Um, the tens, personally. Your favorite? I fucking hate the 10s. Oh, okay. The 10s are hot garbage, and I'm going to tell you why. Tell me. Number one, I have have one pair of 10s, so maybe it was just this pair and how they made them or whatnot, but they, like, just the quality of them was trash, bro. Like, they they were the Chicago 10s, and they came out in 2011, 2012, maybe. Mm. Um, they were trash, bro. Like, cool piece, cool. you wore them once and they were just crinkled to shit. They looked like garbage. Ugh. And the tens, like the bottoms, are like so flat mm-hmm. that you just get no traction no matter what. Mm-hmm. So I fucking hate tens. Okay, yeah, no. Well, fuck, well, fuck the tens. <laughs> but everything else on here, besides the bottom ones, clearly, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, like, I like all of them. Man. Yeah, I definitely I rock with, with with all of them except for those tens, the twos, the threes are okay. Mm-hmm. But you definitely the twos and tens are like, mm, nah, I'm not wearing those. Well. I, for sure. I probably would go with the, the threes if they had a different colorway. Than what oh yeah, they they got a bunch. Okay. A bunch. The more the most prolific colorway of the threes are the black cements. Mm-hmm. Where they're all oh, black but then they have a okay. cement on the back. Okay, I know what those is. Yeah. Those are the most prolific ones. Uh, but what's your favorite pair out of all of them? What's my favorite pair? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say the sixes. You know... Or the sevens. You 
I don't know. You lost me with the Digimon thing. You brought me back with the sixes. <laughs> Cause we family, baby. You brought me back with the sixes. The sixes are my favorite Jordan. Really? Ever. They're the Jordan that got me in the game. Okay. As we talked about it in uh, an earlier right. episode, the infrared sixes are my favorite Jordan of all you time. Didn't say that. They are the shoe that like brought me into loving shoes. Yeah. Um, I can the see sixes why. Sixes are but those my seven favorites. Are raw, though. Yeah, the there's there's a lot of sevens that are good. Um, my second favorite pair is the eights. Yeah, eights are the eights way. are some of the most comfortable shoes Where? that you could ever wear. They're they're a little heavy on your feet, but like the comfort makes up for them for sure. And they have the second greatest colorway of all time, the aquas. And the aqua eights are fuego, fuego, fuego. Fuego. I mean, super fire. Super fire. Everything else really can't go wrong no matter what. Okay. But I wanted your opinion. Yeah, man. Shit. But yeah. I and now you're learning. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that, man. You're welcome. So when I'm out here, fresh as fuck. Mm -hmm. Knowing what I Someday. know about Jordans. Someday. Just got to help me. Yep. So uh, next up. On the list, we're gonna go with these. Takashi Murakami. You got it. You crushed his name. I mean, I'm um, so yes, these are the Takashi Murakami Air Force Ones. Air Force One Lows. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> they are um, a new shoe. Yeah. Probably a very limited release, I would assume. I'm gonna skip on these, bro. Okay. Do you know uh, who Takashi Murakami is? I know he is an artist. Okay. That's literally the only thing I know uh -huh. about him. Uh -huh. I think one of the times, I, like the first time I did DMT, and I've never really seen any of his artwork like that, aside from like what stuff like this and probably what like Kanye would kind of, uh, uh, the graduation album. Yep, um, that was Takashi Murakami. And uh, so like the first time I did DMT, and I closed my eyes, Everything in my fucking awareness and vision was like a Takashi Murakami pain. <clears throat> That's pain. awesome. Bro, it's crazy. Like, <sighs> quick story time. Okay. When I did it, mm -hmm. closed my eyes, mm -hmm. everything was like, I was in like a mirrored box when I closed my eyes and everything was okay. fucking lit. Mm -hmm. So I have to close my eyes as I do this so I can like relive it. Sure. And so everything was fucking lit neon colors everything was alive everything was moving i could feel everything i was the music that I was playing because it was the first time i ever heard the song that i heard a thousand times before but i was the song itself it was stupid and then like um there was script being like that was alive and like moving and flowing and it said love it was reading out love it was but the characters uh -huh. were vibrantly colored women having sex with each other. So it was like, it was the rawest shit I've ever like experienced. That was like, in that moment, I, I, I had so many real, real, uh, revelations and realizations about oh, uh, reality, consciousness, I'm um, love, and how all of this is always constantly having sex with itself. Like all of this is constantly having sex with itself. We fuck it. We fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> we always are in the state. Kissy homies 2019. <laughs> this, girl. <laughs> this girl. They're not ready for that, Amy. Hell no. So, but everything is constant. Like all of my all the molecules, matter, uh, atoms are constantly in a state of intercourse. Fucking, fucking in a state of intercourse, in a state of creation. Yeah. And I was like, yo, that shit's. Crazy. But yeah, so that's that's my little Takashi Murakami reference. I mean, you crushed it. Um, but I'm skipping on those though. Okay. Uh, yes, he is um, an artist that uh, he's a Japanese artist, and Kanye is like a huge fan of his and gets a lot of his artwork and has him come in and do a lot of his album covers or things like that, promotional things and stuff. Nice. Um. But don't show you them. Eh. Nope. Eh. Nope. Eh. Nope. Um, I think the problem is 
for me, they're an Air Force One. They're an Air Force One, and we don't we don't wear up towns anymore. And if we do, they're they pure white. Be, or yeah, they gotta be pure white. Or black. You were gonna say black, but no. If you gotta hit a lick, they ain't got the on black one. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Straight up. I mean, you're not wrong, but I've never really liked the all blacks. Hey. Never really been my thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> We're getting canceled. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> but nah, I saw what we doing. Uh, so we moving into uh, fashion fashion. Yep. Okay. So this is the last thing. Alright, what are we doing? What, what's um, this? Is that Mona Lisa? It is. Alright. It is Mona Lisa. Show me some. Uh, so how do you feel? Now this is With the... the fit? Nah, it doesn't matter. Just, it's just the uh, crew neck that we're okay. looking at. But... I want to give you the full, mm, the full spectrum the full. of it. Oh, okay. Mm. That's just all right. I like I like the fact that it has uh, Mona Lisa all on it, front sure. and back. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's saying, but uh, um, I can go in here. So it says uh, the most parodied work of art in the in the history of. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. The most parodied work of art in the world. Oh, okay. Um, and then on the actual picture, it says, is half-length portrait painting by the Italian Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. The GOAT. He you knew, you knew a lot of the secrets of the universe. Yeah, dude. I'm reading his biography. And he's the GOAT. That's why you ain't have no dumbass Chuck thoughts. Could be. I did ask you earlier, have you been reading... Like, no. I don't think I read it at all this week, but this week. it's one of those books that I've been like constantly just going back to, kind of thing. That's dope. But yeah, uh, I like it. Uh, I'll drip with it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, so this is the off white. Oh, is it? Mona Lisa. Oh. Um, it's one of their like highest selling, most sought after like pieces. Really? Yeah. Um. It comes in all different colors. There's like a crew neck, there's a hoodie, there's like a zip up, mm. all sorts of shit. I want this hoodie so bad. Where? It's so fire. I don't want the black one. I want it in red because mm. it's red and then the writing and the Mona Lisa is in black. It's so fire. Yeah, the red sound like it's like, oh, like it's the move. So fire. Yeah, yeah you all right? You good? Man, thank you, Virgil, for making this. Jeez. Because it's so dope. That shit, that shit hard. Um, that shit hard. But, there you go. I'm glad. So now you know. It's got the big old off-white on the back. Oh, that's what that was saying? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, now I see it. I could have sworn that shit. I thought that shit was an H, bro. Get it? From this, pers from this perspective, that shit looked like glasses. an H. But that shit looked like an H. It looked like CH something. Okay. Yeah, okay, I see what you're like. Jeez. But still get glasses. Uh, not yet, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> you got cataracts. Bruh, I, I, smoke, I smoke a lot of cannabis for my glaucoma. Yeah, okay. Smoke myself to sleep. Smoke myself to sleep. You know it's legal now. You know I don't even need a card now. Oh, shit. You <laughs> You know I grow my own now. <laughs> hey, shout out to my homie down there in Hawaii growing fields of green. Okay. Just off you. You're gonna get somebody in trouble. Bro, he in Hawaii, he Gucci. Oh, okay. He Gucci. I could say his name and everything. That's my brother, brother. But uh shout out to shout out shout out to the to the god. Cool. But that's it. That's that drip script. Drip script. Trip or mm. skip. Mm. I always be fucking up words, but it's crazy. Hundred percent. It's crazy how I do that, and I'm like a rapper and shit. Yeah, it's sad <sighs> to be quite honest. <sighs> what if I told you I had a mental disorder, Chuck? Well, well one you do. Oh, it's called being down. <laughs> <sighs> and two. You think because you have a mental disorder, you're not gonna get this roasting? Oh no! If you knew Fuck like that, if you knew like I do, mm -hmm. 
you would you would you would watch your watch your mouth. You gotta see Joker to know what I'm talking about. Thanks for that reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then mm -hmm. I'm not gonna understand. I because I can't spoil it for you. But. All right. Arr. Get on to your anime so. with Trey. That's the one. Where uh, just as my brother brings me into the world of fashion, footwear, and everything fresh. I bring him into the world of anime and everything trade. That's I, 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 I thought I was going somewhere with that. It was cool. Nerdy shit. Nerdy shit. Mm -hmm. So if it's nerdy shit, I'm gonna just I'm gonna start bringing out all. I'm gonna start bringing out more than just anime. Uh oh. Yeah. It's gonna be some. There's gonna be jump you know, force. There's and, gonna be some like video game shits that. I mean, know. video games. I'll probably know a lot of. Unless it's like some obscure like Japanese fucking RPG shit. Dragon Warrior stuff. Legend of Dragon Room? You know about that though. I mean I know Legend the game. I don't think I've ever played it. Don't don't even say nothing. I'm gonna bring that up for sure. For sure. But I probably told him about it in just like regular conversation, but he's not gonna remember. Okay. Anyway. Yep. We're gonna get into this first iconic cool character in the anime universe. Yep. Can you see it? Oh, I can see it. Bet. Um, I don't know either one of their names, mm -hmm. but I know it is Death Note. Ah, I've seen that dude before. Okay. Well, you got it. Oof. Um, but no, no idea what either one of their names are. I'm sure they are very Japanese, so I'm not even going to come close to guessing them anyway. It's actually, pretty fucking simple, bro. Chad, Light. That's dumb. Light Yagami. His okay, so number one, still a Japanese name. Okay. Number two, Light. Light. Come on, bro. AKA. Is it Kanye's kid? Because <laughs> is it Andre 3000's kid? It might be. Because they're probably the only people named their kids Light. Or or Gwyneth Paltrow. I know something like Rocket or some shit or Apple. I have no idea. Yes, yeah, there's a lot. Apple. Of Apple. She might have some stuff. It's 2019. What do you expect? I think she had to keep off five years ago. But, so, uh, okay. yeah. So, Light Yagami, a.k.a. Kira. Okay. Keeper of the Death Note. And cool. the thing behind him, or the individual behind him, is a mm -hmm. Shinigami, a.k.a. a cool. soul, re soul Reaper by the name of Ryuk. Cool. He's a... He's a he kills people. I he doesn't that. necessarily kill him. He just takes them so... Or puts them in positions where they actually physically die and descend there. Oh, shit. With Death Note is a notebook. If you haven't seen it, shame on you. This is not a spoiler. You fucked yourself. Uh, Death Note is a notebook yeah. in which you can put down an anybody's name. Mm -hmm. And also you can put in how they die, when they die. Mm -hmm. And they are going to die. That exact way? That exact way. Way. What if you erase it? You can't. Oh. Uh, no. You also okay. have to picture them. You also have to picture them. So it's like manifestation. Right. That's fucked up. It's deep. Yeah. Bad. So he's kind of like a dementor in Harry Potter, but he can also like Final Destination people. I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. Harry Potter lore guy. Let, let's check with uh, Hang Lost at the end. No. You brought me back with the sixes. You lost me again with Harry <laughs> Potter. We're fighting. Not it's like tofu. a mentor. God damn, we're, we're going through Tofu right you now. You need to fucking watch Harry Potter, bro. I've mean, never seen it. He likes apples. Yeah, he likes apples. Apples to him is like alcohol to us. Oh, he just no. eats apples. Apples, huh? apples to him is like maple syrup for you. Oh, shit. No. This dude's got a problem. He does. Maple syrup or maple, pumpkin pie? Or and or pumpkin pie. I don't know where you're where you're at with maple <laughs> syrup and pumpkin so pie. So this guy's got a problem. Yeah. Straight up, bro. He's just putting apples into every <laughs> clean vein he can fucking find. He's just chugging apple juice, having like, a good old time. Not apple juice. He needs the whole thing, bro. Mm. He's Stop. a purist. Just core and all. Just mowing yeah, them oh, down. Yeah. What a baller. The thing about Death Note is that light. Is only killing off um, criminals. Criminals. 
Oh, he but only kills off criminals. Gotcha. It gets to this point of like killing everybody. Yeah. Uh, so he he <laughs> toes the line very much. He toes yeah. the line now. Like so, this light dude he holds the book. Mm -hmm. Rudy's got the chalk, if you will. Yeah. And he is the only person who can write people's names down, or someone could be like, "Ha ha, I got your book, little bitch," and then they could write shit down. Yes. Oh, that's a problem. Yes. That's not good. No. But he's also like this one of the smartest in he's the nation. He's a fucking genius. He's a genius. Mm -hmm. He's a genius. Is this light guy cool with the mm -hmm. demon dude? Yeah. Eh, yeah. Or is he kind of like, I know what y'all are and we can't really be friends because it's like you murder so people the, all the time. The Death Note comes with a Shinigami. So there's uh, multiple Death Notes. Oh. Uh, so there's okay. multiple Death Notes. And each Death Note is assigned to a different Soul Reaper or so, a Shinigami. Oh. Uh, so. Is he like just the coolest one though? He's the one that's attached to the Death Note that Mike or Kira has. Right. But Which he, happened to be an extra one he had. But is he, like, a cool one? Well, that was an extra notebook he dropped into the human world. Oh, yeah, to fuck shit up. Yeah, because he's like, I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny, bro. Okay. It's a lot. Yeah, for sure. And then there's a, another character who I, I'm not going to put on her, but it's, it's her favorite character. Oh, book, okay. Death Note. But yeah, bro. I'm gonna like Yagami. Cool. And Ryu. Who, who, who told you about, uh... I'm gonna say that for last. I already okay. seen it. It's too late. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> so yeah, this <laughs> number two. <laughs> that 3626. 24, 36. <laughs> Yo, this is your dream chick, bro. She's a blonde. True. Slim, thick, witty. True. And she got the chop. True. Woo! You see that smile? She pretty too. Psh. This is true. This might be your lady, bro. Yeah, if she was real. <laughs> she could be real. Forever alone. Um, she is a gorgeous young woman. Uh -huh. Now, I... Mm, hmm, hmm, where is she from? Because my first thought was... She looks a lot like, um, like a Dragon Ball Z character, but because she has the choppa and the grenade, I don't know if that's very Dragon Ball Z-esque. Mm. You close as fuck. So, you close as fuck. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to say it's Dragon Ball Z. Even though I don't think it is. And her name fucking put a ring on it. <laughs> Cause you deserve it, boo. You deserve it. You got it, girl, you got it. Ooh. This is lunch, bro. Her name is Lunch. Lunch. Oh fucking yup. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're gonna have her for lunch, huh? Yup. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All of them. She got that lunch box. Ooh, she oh, got that lunch box. Okay. Shout out to him for the, for the sideline commentary. But yeah, she she originally showed up in Dragon Ball. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing about her, she's crazy. Um, Aren't they all? But she's crazy, crazy. So okay. her, I mean, she's smiling while holding a fucking machine gun. So yeah. And a, and yeah. a hand grenade. Yeah, you gotta be a little crazy. A little loony. So. Lunch has two personalities. Okay. When she sneezes, okay. she changes personalities and she changes hair color as well. Uh, so blonde lunch mm -hmm. is the badass crazy bitch lunch. Uh, okay. The purple haired lunch uh, is the dainty, beautiful, uh, clumsy mouth. She's not necessarily clumsy, but she's very like, she's like a blonde. Okay. You get what I'm saying. Actually, I'll I see see what over here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Two different lunches. Oh. Hmm. So, I mean, you could get you a two for one deal. I mean, I'm cool with that. But it's disappointing because I want her to be the blonde one most of the time. And she's crazy. That's the crazy one. She's walking around a 
machine guns and grenades and rocket launchers all the time. I'm just pull that shit out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, look. (laughs) I'm gonna be like, look, shoddy. You need to calm down. Hey, hey, chill. Cool your jets. Cool your tits. Okay. Cut it out. (laughs) Alright, but yeah, he was close. Lunch. 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 Yeah. Cool. Because him, he just start watching Dragon Ball like randomly out of nowhere and. Mmm, yep, she was watching it when I, when I came in today. So I was like, oh, I'm going to throw a young lunchbox on there. How about it? And last but definitely not least, mm. this is a legend. Oh. In the, in the anime world as well. But mm. he's a piece, I don't want to say too much, I'm going to let you look in. Okay. Um, hmm. This is a dope ass name, by the way. So, just looking at it. And from the animes that I know, just off in in my noggin. In your noggin. Um, because of the cowboy hat, I'm gonna say that this is a character from Cowboy Bebop. <gasps> no. Fuck. No. Nope. All right. Well then, <laughs> my actual guess. Oh, okay. Was that this is, and you tricked me because you alluded to this earlier that it's actually a video game character from Overwatch and he is voiced by one of my favorite people in the world, Matthew Mercer. Shout out Matthew Mercer. Um, It is McCree from Overwatch. (coughs) No, not at all. I don't know what the fuck you just started talking about. Overwatch, you know Overwatch? I know what Overwatch is. And then there is a character, McCree. Dear guy. Oh. And he is voiced by Matthew Mercer. Shout out to Matthew Mercer. The but DM of Critical Role. Shout out to Critical Role. Now shout out to Matthew Mercer. It's all coming together. But it falls apart because this motherfucker is not from not Overwatch. Kind of, no. no. Okay. Yet. Not at all. Alright. I shout thought maybe you were a big Overwatch League fan. Yeah. No. Okay. Not me. Alright. This right here? Yep. Portuguese D. Ace of the White Beard Pirates okay. and White Beard Pirates. No, I did not get that from the back tag. <laughs> you pointing that out did not help whatsoever. All right, One Piece. Gotcha. So remember when I One Piece has a very big bro. It's huge range of, of character. characters. Bro, it's yeah. huge. Interesting. Huge. Rest in peace, Luke. <laughs> she said, "Look at my like, fucking spoilers, bro." But I spoiled it from day one. Okay. When we first did Dripper Skip, yep. which was a part of the episode that never was. Uh huh. Not Dripper Skip. I'm sorry. When we first did Anime with Trey, which is a part of oh. the anime that never was. Right, right, right. Okay. I bring up his brother. Oh. Uh-huh. And then I tell you the whole scenario about how this individual gets. Punch on oh, the chest with right. a lava fist. Mm-hmm. Yep. And he dies. Damn. But he was <sighs> raw mm-hmm. for the two episodes that we've seen. Jeez. I was crying. Huh? That's rough. I was crying. You was crying? You were too. I th- yeah, I was. You would. I mean, you know. Ace Gold! Ace Gold! Yeah, uh, so yeah, Portugal D. Ace, bro. Hmm. Fire yeah. Fist, Fire Fist Ace. That's what they was calling him. That's pretty good. He was the right hand man. No, he was the second in command to the White Beard Pirates. Okay. And he's about to be beheaded. And he was, and he's the son of Gold D. Roger, who was like the pirate king. He was the man of the, the not the seven seas, but the seas. He was the man. Okay. But he. He he sounds pretty cool. Terrible. I mean, you should look into McCree, though. McCree? McCree's pretty cool. Alright, shout out to McCree. Shout out to uh, Matthew Mercer. Shout out to Dig- uh, Critical Role. There you go. Uh, D&D Beyond. And all that yeah. Stuff. Yeah. They're sponsored D&D Beyond. Yep. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's all the same thing. I'm sorry. Jeez. Purist over here. He just called me a muggle in his head. I heard a muggle <laughs> for fucking sure, dude. 
for but yeah. sure. You'd be the fucking person who would like be trying to run into platform nine and three quarters and just smash into the fucking wall. Nah. Well, that, that you'd be holding my hand. I'd be okay. I don't think. Bro, I'm not no fucking. All right, fucking here it is. Be, here's Chuck's thought. Here's Chuck's up. thought for the work. For the work. Here's <laughs> Chuck's thought for the week. If you are a wizard, uh-huh. right? And then, like, let's say Hemi is a, a witch, because they be witches and wizards. If you were a witch going into Hogwarts, right, and you were like, oh shit, got a sneak Trey onto this train. If you ran through there, would it stop Trey? Or, like, could he go with you? Wait, hang on, because I'm trying to think. Because Hermione's parents, they're muggles. Did, were they ever on the train? So, if her... If- both of her parents were muggles. Mm-hmm. She was born with magic. Yes. So magic no. is inherent in. No, she's half. So she's half. No, I think they're both muggles. Cause aren't they? No, aren't they both like dentists? That's why they call her um, mud, mud 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 blood mud mud yeah. blood yeah mud blood yeah. It's because she's half. So it's a lot of a lot of nerdy shit going on here. No, it's fucking Harry Potter, bro. This is important well, shit. Do the Google. Hey man, either way. I don't remember. I feel like they're both dentists. Either way, you're smashing into the fucking platform. Bro, I am looking like a real dweeb. I'm the sorcerer supreme, bro. Fuck out of here. No, you're not. <laughs> Whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa. No. <laughs> Sling ring in that bitch. No. Bro, bro, I am the sorcerer supreme. Not at all, bro. Bro, what do you mean? They're gonna put you in Azkaban. You're gonna come out with your butthole looking <laughs> like a wizard scene. <laughs> Never. Well, your nickname's gonna be Aloha Mora. You oh, know what that is? No. It's the spell to open doors. <laughs> <laughs> but if I open doors, I mean I let people into not me. Into your back. Don't no. Yeah. No, Chuck. Yeah. I let them up no. into the world because I'm a fucking sorcerer. All right. Wait, oh wait, yeah, you're right. Both parents. So both of oh, her, see? Are so not. both her both if both of her parents are muggles. Yeah. And she was one of the best fucking yes. wizards. Witches, yeah. Witches, wizards. She she was in the school of yeah. wizarding. Yes. That there shows you that magic is inherent in all. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Of course she probably had a grandparent of some sort who was a wizard. Maybe, I don't know. See, I don't even know that. So don't you dare try to tell me that I'm a motherfucking muggle. But you are. You know what, Chuck? Yeah. What are you talking about? Nah, he's a muggle. I'm not no motherfucking muggle. I mean, me and you were in Hogwarts. We're getting litty in that bitch. You went Hufflepuff. I'm probably in Hufflepuff. Nah, fuck that shit. No, no, no. no, no, I mean, Ravenclaw. 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 Hufflepuff. Nah, fuck all that. I mean, yeah, I would probably be in one of those lame ass houses, but it is what it is. Lame-ass. It is what it is. Sorting hat. All right. Chosen one. Are we getting on the next segment? What's the next one? It is your favorite game. That never ends. That's the one. Connect between three and five. <laughs> you said it right for once. <laughs> Wait. I, I wonder if, like, the people who will be watching our shit is finally like, these motherfuckers are like, sick. These guys are dumb. What's that? What you about to say? Would Trey be Dumbledore? Would Trey be Dumbledore? He's old enough to be Dumbledore, but no. yes. But he's no. very mystical. No. Uh, no. Why you gotta be hating? No. Man? No. Okay. Number one. Here's the thing about Harry Potter. Number one, the only people who are shown love in the Harry Potter universe, mm-hmm. like who like are really like tight with everybody and like just get love and respect from everybody mm-hmm. are tall people. You are not tall enough. Number two. But Harry Potter ain't tall. What the fuck you mean? He gets tall though. He's not. He's not tall until like year four, and then he like hits that little growth spurt. Ron, think about him. But Ron is t- terrible. Um, Ron is great. But oh my god. But but, ugh, but he's so whack, bro. I agree. And they want to choke that nigga, dog. I but ain't <laughs> but in year like. Five or six, that's when, like, him and, like, Daniel Radcliffe really got on the roids. <laughs> so then Ron gets, like, yoked up. And, and you're still like, a bitch. He's still yeah, dumb he's as fuck. Yeah. But you're like, oh, okay. And then because he got 
like roided up and grew a few inches, then he starts like getting cool and like him and Hermione have their little thing. Like Neville Longbottom, he was kind of a loser, but then he like year five and he like hits this growth spurt and you're like, oh damn, Neville's tall now, and then he gets he gets all the girls. But Harry Potter still is like five, eight, five nine. You're like five nine on a good day. It never is a good day when you're good. Hey. Then every day would be a good day. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It, every day is a good day. You said it. It's never a good day. No, no, I said every day is a good day when you're good. Hey. That's, that's, that's literally the opposite. Regardless, you're you're right. Right. Regardless, you're too short. Right. Too short. I'm not. Make your move. Oh, that was super quick. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We're even... talking all of that shit. Yeah. All that. <laughs> I was ready for it, boss. I told you I won. Man. Fuck. Oh, I told you shit. I won. Oh, shit. I told you I won. Oh, bro. shit. I told you I won from day one. Oh, fuck. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, you could just not win. <laughs> we could just keep going. <laughs> It's the game that never. <laughs> yeah, bro. <clears throat> OVO, as uh, the boys from Toronto would say. Shit. I told you from day one, and I just Wait, went, hang what? on. What's up? <laughs> God, this. I was. We might as well go ahead and move that motherfucker because next time y'all come back, I drop one more and then be. Y'all can go back to episode one, see that I already claimed it. Funny thing, right? In editing these, these here. Oh, you had the fucking play-by-play, -play, so you were looking at these all. Bro, mm -hmm. not, what? No. Shit. Collusion. <sighs> White people always trying to get the play. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you was like, I'm calling it, and I was like, I already claimed it, so uh, <clears throat> you were a little bit late to the party. And I'm I was gonna go first one to one two. Yeah, I'm gonna put mine here. I see a thing. Chicken one. Because I think. Well, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Next time. Damn. On the damn. game. <laughs> that never ends. Shit. Uh, it, job. Is, that, is, is that intense? Damn. Yeah. yeah. I actually. We'll see. Let me I'll review this. Let me just see what I gotta do. On Dragon Ball Z. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't, we don't have to stretch this out a little bit because I ain't no slouch. All right. What are we on to next, brother? Um, it's getting late. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What oh, we got to talk about? Oh, hold up. Where am I? Uh, I don't even, I ain't even going to go off the ad, bro. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody for t tuning in. And, and rocking with us, this has been a joy and a pleasure for, for, for both of us. And to keep us going, we hope that you all visit BeGreaterThanEver.com mm -hmm. and help us continue in our mission to make humanity great again. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how in the fuck does supporting y'all through Be Greater Than Ever help the fucking podcast? And how are y'all going to make humanity great again? If you're judging me, that is where you're fucking up. Because in the world that we're creating, we're going to allow for everybody to be authentic, accepting, and accountable for themselves. As long as we're not hurting each other or anyone else, we are allowed to be fully expressive and fully embodied in ourselves. And we dissolve the idea of duality. So that means you can't most people think of duality as you can't be this spiritual individual and still say fuck shit ass bitch cunt shoobity do I? Whoops. Why not? Because that's not higher ground. That's not higher vibrational. That's mm -hmm. not this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. Everything is everything and God is literally in everything. So, bringing that awareness to the forefront and showing people that you can be very spiritual. You can be very conscious and very aware that you can be greater than what you were before. You can talk your shit. You can motherfucking get as fresh as you want. You can drip in all of the fly shit and still uphold the divinity that is within yourself. 
you're being greater than ever. So take your ass over to BeGreaterThanEver.com. Use the discount code GOODANDFRESH. Save 15% on your first purchase. Again, the discount code is G-O-O-D-N-F-R-E-S-H. Help us make humanity great again, man. I like that one. That was really from the heart. And buy stuff so I can eat. And buy stuff so you can eat. Because you don't eat. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> you know what's funny? Because like I put on Facebook a while ago that like I, I honestly am not a huge fan of insulting or like disrespecting my friends or anybody like that. Because yeah, you're not very good at it. I'm not. Yeah. It's not my thing, cause like for one, either either I can like be jokingly with it, or I can get like real personal with it, and not really be not like not that I take shit personal, right? But I can get personal in my like insults, insults, yeah. And I don't like doing that because like I'm I'm a huge. You just want everybody to love each other. I do. And be happy. I I, I want everybody to love themselves first and foremost. Yeah. I want everybody to love each other after that. But I'm also very aware of treat others as you would like to be treated. And I don't treat myself in any negative way whatsoever. So, like, anytime people hit me with any negativity mm-hmm. or, like, even jokingly, I never, I, I, it's like I let it roll off my back or I just flip it. And so, like, when I kick it with, with the homies, such as yourself, like, I have fun with this shit. I like to crack jokes this and the third, but truly in my my fully authentic self it's like i don't have to be i don't have to talk shit about nobody because i don't like i don't talk shit about myself and you are a refraction of myself Uh everybody is a refraction of self i don't want to say myself when people think people then get it fucked up like oh you're uh, egotistical or self-centered it's like no i have a different understanding what self-centered is and what i am and what i am not and so, you know, I, 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 I joke around with you, I poke fun, and at the end of the day, you know, it's all, it's always love, and there's not nothing personal in that. Yeah, I don't even have to say the shit that I'm saying right now, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to express that, because people probably see me on Facebook like, how the fuck could you be blah, 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 and you be talking all type of shit about Charles? Mm-hmm. It's like, bro. You don't know. This nigga yeah. trying to be talking mad shit about your boy. I do. Hella. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Hashtag that Trey sucks. Sucks, huh? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Make it go viral, please. <sighs> Hashtag Chuck rules. How about that? Yeah? No? So you can't even you see? It's okay. He can't he can't even take it. I'm like, well, Chuck rules. No. Yeah. Like, Trey oh, sucks works better. better. Yeah. So, Why? Why is that cool? Funny. Is it funny? Yeah. Why can't why can't I dig you up and that be funny? How can we how can we switch that dynamic? Like how can we make like positive uplifting shit cool mm-hmm. and funny? Oh, I don't. You I don't know. I don't <laughs> you let the whole go. Was, mine was gonna be hashtag Chuck got a hog. <laughs> make it go viral. Fuck it. Why not? Chuck's got a hog. I don't. I I don't know this at all. He says it. Well, I'll take his word for it. Thank you. I'm not checking. Hi. Hashtag kiss your homies sweet. <laughs> no. They're not ready. Nah. Definitely not kissing the homies. <laughs> not at episode eight. No, yeah, that's no. Never. Man. <laughs> if we get to episode sixty nine, maybe. What? Yeah. It won't even be twenty nineteen. Oh well. Yeah. You're right. Yes, you're definitely right. Right. Yeah. <sighs> no. We'll have to see. No. We'll find out. No. It's, it's no kidding. The last podcast of the year. That's what it is. No. It. Uh, mm-hmm. What are you doing, Hank? <laughs> <me? laughs> Shit. Yeah. Let me bring up this calendar here real quick. Keep, oh, keep talking God. to everybody as I figure this out, man. But man, look so. <laughs> If you are a fan of ridiculous TV, watch Big Mouth. I'm pretty sure about about the time you see this one for your podcast, hear this podcast, you may have watched it or not. 
December 30th. December 30th? The last one of the That's year. right yeah. before my birthday. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I thought maybe we would record one on my birthday, but no, my birthday's on Tuesday. On Tuesday? Yeah. I mean, shit, I hope I can change within a couple of, couple of months, because... Like, well, yeah, I'm your what? preference of sexual partners? No, um, never. I'm always going to be strictly titly, all right? I'm always for the legs. Uh-huh. I'm never for... Strictly dickly. You, you've never heard that term before, have you? I know. It's strictly, it's strictly dickly. But then there's like, I don't, there's not a, even an opposite for, for, for dudes. So I just said strictly clickly. Cause it's close. It's close. Yeah. He got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumb, dude. Am I really? We are. Oh, okay. Just, yeah. Anyway, I'm not changing no no preferences. You yeah. might be Jay. Who? <laughs> <laughs> the high preferences are all the same. You gotta watch Big Mouth, man. I don't know, bro. Man. Watch Big Mouth. It's fucking stupid. Like bro. shout out to Nick Kroll for sure. You don't like Nick Kroll. Not really. Uh, like I really liked him in the league. The league was dope. Please mm-hmm. bring that show back because that show was so good. Um. But like, the Nick Kroll show, nah, didn't really do it for me. And then like, I've seen a couple episodes of Big Mouth, and meh. nah, meh. I feel like each season it's in a th- it's on the third season, and I feel like each season gets progressively like better but more fucked up. Okay. Oh my god. Because I'm sure when I saw it, it was like season one. Yeah, it had to be. Okay. And they were just like real like the first few episodes of season one was like nice wholesome, and then they start fucking you up. It's like. Mm. Why am I watching this? You you kind of feel, you feel the type of way about yourself while you watch it, cause it's about preteens and teenagers and all types of shit in seventh grade. Oh, that probably was or was not happening to you as a seventh grader. Motherfucker, you don't know my life. No, 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 <laughs> bitch. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry for calling you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying personally. I'm saying you as in a general, general, general term. Oh, okay. Jeez. Just us as yes, seventh graders. Yes, us as seventh graders. Okay. Jeez. But yeah, you might be Jay. I. Okay. He's a he's a magician. Okay. Fucks. Everything. Okay. Literally. So everything. I'm nothing like Jay. Is what you're saying. I mean. You have a fucking turkey? No. What about pillows? No. (laughs) (laughs) I played it up, but no. I never (laughs) fucked a pillow. (laughs) Now, pumpkin pie, though. What? (laughs) Hey, man. When it gets right out of the oven. Were you, uh, James? Still a little goopy. Jason Bateman? Yeah. Um, a little goopy. Yeah, you never tried it out. It's still warm. I bet Mama Lou was pissed. <laughs> I never. <laughs> you you ate the evidence? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I was Sick. Telling, so I was telling Hemi. Story time. Uh, not about fucking a pie. Okay. What does that have to do with pie? Tell me. More. So we were talking about um how I love pumpkin pie. Uh huh. And uh. Hemi was talking about like how she was gonna make me a pumpkin pie, uh-huh. and I was like, "Oh, that would be beautiful. I would love that so much." Yeah. And she was like, "Well, I'll make like you know a little like artisanal one." And I was like, "Nah, nah, 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 nah." nah. Put it in a silver pan, a tin pan. Yeah. With the crust. Yeah. I was like, "It's gotta be a legit pumpkin pie." And then I was like, "Look, I have a problem with pumpkin pie. Like, it's a legitimate problem." And I was like, what I do every year mm-hmm. is from probably like mid-October-ish until like Christmas, New Year's, mm-hmm. I tally all the pumpkin pies that I eat. Really? Yeah. So my record, I believe, is like 13. Nice number. Right. Good number. But right. nigga, what? I love pumpkin pie, bro. Jeez, bro. Yeah. 
I challenge you it's to. It's a problem. I challenge you to not eat any pumpkin pie this year. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's impossible. If you 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 guys wouldn't have heard it, but Hemi just challenged Charles LaRose over here to not eat any pumpkin pumpkin pies. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's Chuck, definitely not going to happen. I value you. I bet you I could be. I could eat more than thirteen. One, there's not a chance. Yeah, there's right. not you a chance you would be. Your you parents are not going to let you, you do that. You don't know me. I'm not going to be here. There's not a chance that you would be me and eating pumpkin pies. I'm huh. letting you know right now. Y'all can have fun with that shit. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a sweet potato pie guy myself. I love I'm, sweet potato I'm, pie too. I mean, sweet potato pie is good, but it's not pumpkin pie, bro. I think it's something with you people of uh, uh, less color. Nation. Yeah. No, I don't think it's that. I'm just putting it out there. Hemi's never had sweet potato pie. She don't know about this life. Hemi doesn't have a lot of stuff, though. This is true. It's true. It's true. But sweet potato, bro. Have you, you, have, you had you had yams before, right? Yeah. We're going to we gotta take you to the hood, bro. I mean, I know you're from the hood. Of Horford. Horford? Shout out. But... We're gonna have to get you some light. I mean, I'm from East Hartford. That's okay. We're gonna have to get you some light. Some of my mamas. Oh my, some of my mamas. Bring it through, bro. Bring it through. Do they make pumpkin pie? I'm pretty sure my auntie could make a, my, my auntie could make a pumpkin pie. Love you, Bring auntie. it through. Auntie Rhonda. Shout out to Auntie Rhonda. Uh, you, you like banana pudding? Nah, not really. I'm not big on the, on the pudding pies. My grandma would make, uh, like, the chocolate pudding, or like mm -hmm. the vanilla pudding pies or whatever. They're all right, but you, not, not really my thing. You, you, my sister makes a mean banana pudding. Mm. What? So, right. What? You don't know about banana pudding? She looks so confused. TJ throws his hands up. People are just like, what the fuck? No. It's okay, baby. It's all right. It's okay. You haven't had it because... Have you had it? No, you haven't had it. We're gonna have to have you to have it. But it's not gonna be... It's not gonna have... It's not gonna be vegan. It's good, though. It got a little vanilla wafers in it and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit slap. Mm -hmm. Like a pimp do with a rinse do, baby. It's... <laughs> what tall? <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. Is this coming out around uh, Thanksgiving time? The next close, week. close to it, yeah. I'll make you a pie. You make me a pie next week. Next week, all right, bet. So we got, we gonna have pie on the podcast. Oh, okay. Will it be vegan or not? We'll see. It don't matter. It don't matter to me. Like my my digestion Whoa. is lit. You feel me? I can. I'm getting back to the space where I can eat wherever I want. Well, yeah. It's a problem. I don't, I don't think you're ready for that. Oh, I definitely am. Mm -hmm. I'm, so, last one. Like 13 pumpkin pies. Oh, I'm no. <laughs> hell no. Heavens no. I am definitely not ready for 13 pumpkin pies. Fucking rookie over here, dude. Bruh, I'm, I'm not even trying to get in the league, bro. I'm just expecting. <laughs> Fuck that. They're so good. I, I'm, something is... Have you had a pumpkin pie with a maple syrup? In? Um, I don't know because I don't ever make them. You gotta use maple um, syrup when you make those. So maybe to sweeten it, cause it gotta be sweet. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Hemi from the crust blow is fucking mine. What is the equivalent of pumpkin pies for you? For me? What is the equivalent of pumpkin pies for you? Ah, uh, what is the? That I mean, you like can sweet potato pie. Thirteen of. I can eat thirteen of. It used to be cheesecake. Mm. Like before I start eating cheese, cheesecake was my shit. Cheesecake's super good. Bro, I used to love. Whoa. Okay, so y'all have never had bean pies, right? Um, uh, I don't think so. I remember we were driving around in Detroit. I was look, we, trying one to look one of the times we was in Detroit, where I was trying to find bean pies. And Bean pies, yeah, like navy bean pies. Okay. They, whatever the whatever the, the Muslim community does to bean pies in Detroit, bro, mm. is 
glorious. Interesting. They slap. Okay. Like a pimp do when the rinse do. We get it. Slap. They use, I had a had like a pineapple bean pie. Mm-hmm. Carrot mango one. Bro, that shit so fucking good. I think I might need a bean pie in my life. So if anybody watching this can give me a bean pie, know how to hook me up with a bean pie. Right. Leave a comment below. Find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. Find me on Instagram. Tell me who got the bean pies. I'm cop. Word. Every time I uh, go back home to East Hartford, mm -hmm. we always have to stop at uh, Peppers, mm -hmm. which is right on Silver Lane. It's a Jamaican bakery. Okay. Shout out to Peppers. It's been there forever. And I got to get myself beef patties and cocoa bread. Mm. Every time, bro. Oh my God! Slap. Like a pimp it's in the rest of it. it's more than that. Ooh, it's more bit. than that. Does it choke you a little bit? It's like sensual like choke. It's like. Have you ever? Have you ever just like really needed to release the demons, mm. and you go in your closet? And you like lock the door to your closet, mm -hmm. and then you get the belt out, and you kind of tie the belt around your neck, and you sort of like hang there a little bit, but <laughs> enough where you can do enough where you still like kind of touch the floor, and you just get one out as quick as you can. Uh, I've never in my existence have experienced that, but the way that you just painted that picture, it's like that. All right. Yeah. Damn. It's like. I'm either gonna pass out and look real fucking stupid when somebody finds <laughs> me, or I'm gonna get this nut. I'm kidding. I've never done that, mother. If you're listening, please. I've never done that. Never. God. Never done. That. Oh but man. That's what I would imagine it being like. Cause Girl. these are. <laughs> they'll. When you said they'll change something. I'm never working closet. Where are we going with this? Bro, they'll change something about it. Closets have locks. <laughs> it's my fantasy. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Don't question. I'm going to let it go, man. We're going to let this shit go for uh, for next time. For sure. Hey, man. My name is Trey Good, a.k.a. the Golden One, a.k.a. A.k.a. The Chosen One, a.k.a. a whole bunch of stuff. With, my, with the host, with the most, the freshest of us both. Because, you know, first in my eyes, I I'll give him that. That's uh, definitely true. Chuck the Rose. That's me. And you can find us on Instagram. What's the Instagram for you? Charles underscore LaRose32. And for me, it's 3-T-I-M-E-S-G-O-O-D. For us together, it's B-G-O-O-D-N-F-R-E-S-H. On Twitter, it's the same thing. On Twitter, it's Charles underscore underscore LaRose. Three T I M E S G O O D. I keep it consistent as you see. It must be nice. It must be nice. Until next time, folks, man, we greatly appreciate your, your ears, your time. If y'all tuning in, is there anything else that we need to say before we get the fuck up out of here? Are you going to insult me? No. TJ, what you need to say? Let's hear it. A-K-A. A-K-A. Fresh. A-K-A. We know. May the God in you be blessed. Ah. You started at the beginning. I know. I thought you could do it at the end. Cut.